Okay, everybody, we're here at San Francisco at the Palace of Fine Arts. Hello, everybody. Welcome back to my channel, Travels by Auntie Jenny. Today's adventure leads us to San Francisco's iconic structure, the Palace of Fine Arts. Hello, I'm with my friend Ada here in San Francisco, and we were at the Palace, Palace of Fine Arts. Both my friend and I had purchased tickets to see an art exhibit that was conveniently located here. And after the exhibit, we naturally had to scope out the place. It's so beautiful. The Palace of Fine Arts is located in the Marina District of San Francisco. It was originally built for the 1915 Panama Pacific Exposition in order to exhibit works of art. The original structure was never meant to stand for more than a year. It was only meant to last until the end of the exposition. For instance, the material that was used to create the rotunda were wooden board frames, burlap, and plaster coverings, which eventually started to deteriorate. And by 1964 through 1974, the structure was completely rebuilt to last a lifetime. Through the years, the Palace of Fine Arts became home to many things, like the Palace of Fine Arts Theater and the Exploratorium, which eventually moved to the Embarcadero. The structure was designed and built by Bernard Maybeck. He was inspired by an ancient Roman structure, the Temple of Minerva Medica, that was built in the 4th century AD. The lagoon in front of it serves as a mirror that reflects the structure to make it even more impressive. Today, the park is open to the public for its structure, lagoon, plants, and wildlife. You can't deny it's very pretty here, very picturesque. Here's a fun fact. The centerpiece, which is the open rotunda, is one of the highest single story buildings in San Francisco with a height of 162 feet. There's even a rumor that the rotunda is believed to be the model for R2-D2. I was here on a Saturday and I at least saw five different parties, either weddings or quinceanera, taking photos with the Palace of Fine Arts as a backdrop. And because it's open to the public, many street entertainers perform here. Today, we came across two famous Instagrammers from China teaching a little bit about their culture through their posts. Check it out. We are from China, so we dress up our China traditional dress. So this is a China traditional dress, Hanfu. Uh, it's a very long history, more than 2,000 years. Uh, wow. She calls a very famous lady in China. It's uh, Zhao Jun, Wang Zhao Jun. Wow. Zhao Jun. <laughs> okay. And I, I today, uh, I dress up a China traditional minority group. And the dress is Tibet. Tibet. So, oh wow! Yeah, so the red dress, and then this is my portrait. Best uh, say the words to you is uh, Ni Hao Palo. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. Travels by Auntie Jenny. I loved every minute of this, especially their outfits.
Thank you for watching. I hope my video was helpful enough for you to get an inside look on what to expect when visiting the Palace of Fine Arts here in San Francisco. And if you really enjoyed this video, please click the like button and subscribe to my channel. You can also check out my Instagram and Facebook page. And as always, thank you for watching. This is Travels by Auntie Jenny. Have a great day.